What's happening guys, HD Kera in a first of a map review series. So basically, new maps that come out, I'm going to give you a no bullshit review on them. Because um, I've seen some map reviews in the past where they've literally just said it's the greatest thing ever and they haven't really put any time into it. So what we're going to do, this one as you can see is Paradise Farms. This one's by a fella called Tin Man. So all credit goes to him for the hard work on the map. Um, apparently the land is fertile, days are long, so let's get into it. So it'll only be a short video, we'll just go through uh, any bugs I've found, any problems I've found, the ups and the downs of the uh, map itself, and to be honest, it's a great mod, uh, a great map so far. Let's have a little look. So this is on Farm Manager, and this is a virgin map. I haven't edited anything. I haven't gave myself any vehicles, any money. Um, this is what Tin Man has given you. Um, in my opinion, very, very generous. I'm just trying to get rid of that. So I can get some screenshots. Lovely. Right, let's get rid of the HUD for now. So as you can see, we start off with three... Case IH quad tracks, two 540 models, one big boy 620. Also start with one Elmer's Hallmaster, that's 70,000 capacity. You start off with a beautiful Amazon Condor Dino 1, beautiful Cedar. Then you start with a big flexi coil. Then you start with the Breedle spreader. I think that's a small one. Then you start with a 380 CVX Magnum K, uh, KCIH, beautiful tractor, twin wheels, which look pretty badass. And you start off with, I think it's the Lizard, all in the Wilson trailer. That's uh, I think that's a 60,000 litre capacity. Then you get your standard pickup truck. And then get given two KCIH 9240s with. 45 foot draper headers and the uh, cutter headers. So Tin Man has been extremely, extremely generous with this map. Cannot fault the, uh, the fella. He's uh, extremely generous and even if you don't need them, you can sell them, give yourself a bit of profit. So let me just put the HUD back on so you can see what you get. 1.25 million. I think that's pretty standard across farm manager settings. So we get into the map itself. So we just get into the map, and as you can see, maps, the maps, the fields are quite big, but they come with a price. Now I will tell you, there will be a link to this map. Um, this is version one point zero zero three. I've been using map since version one. Um, so basically, never was able to, version one was never able to plow these fields into one. You could extend them, but you couldn't join them. Version two, you could, but you couldn't sell at the barn. Version two, the barn used to be down here next to animal, um, the animal farm. Uh, where you buy the animal market, words are difficult, and now the barn is just there. So version one, sell bales, you couldn't plow them together. Version two, plow them together, you could make that into one gigantic field if you so wished. But the barn didn't work. Now the barn works, but you can no longer plow them together. You can extend 24, 25. Um, North south, but you can't extend 22 23. But I will show you now. So, that is one downside to it, but don't let it put you off. So, land each of the smaller fields are individually purchasable uh, with 16, quite expensive. But you do get the concreted area and you get the hay field. The hay field is huge. In earlier versions, you had to buy the hay field separate. 
but for 1.27 million, it's pretty worth it. And if you're an absolute lunatic and you've got the finances later on, you want to spawn the money in, uh, field 11, 4.9 million, 4.6 for 14, 15, 5 million, so that must be the biggest one. Forested area to the north, that's quite generously uh, decked out with trees. But there is one thing that is a downside for me. So basically, you've got field uh, 22 through 25, nice fields. I always buy these. And the reason you can't cloud them together is this. And this is only in this version. Click there. You see that every bit of spare land has been lit up. So basically, every bit of land is now purchasable. But just bring it over a dark area so you can see it. That there, 17.9 million euros, dollars, pounds, whatever you're, you're thinking of, that's the problem. 17.9 million. That is for every bit of land that's not numbered or got a name to it so hay fields and there's another there's a little error there but honestly i can't fault it you've got one two three what's that see what you've got so you've got the sawmill biogas spinnery oh, that's the wrong thing grain mill um Grain elevator, halt. So you have actually got quite a a lot of cell points on the map. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven total, which is absolutely fine. Um, prices, yields, completely. I don't know. I honestly don't know. They a bit fluctuated, but. If you manage to purchase this concrete area, and I would recommend it as soon as you can, um, even if you were to sell one of your cases, buy this, get 16 with it, which is a, a nice amount of field. You get the hay fields, which we're facing now, which is the grass, so you can do a bit of silage, get your money up, and you get a lovely bit of flat ground. And that is one thing I can't emphasize enough. The vanilla maps are very pretty. They are very well laid out, very full out, you've got roads and you've got everything else. However, without landscaping, you can't place placeables, which is a downside. But on here, unfortunately, I started a series on version two. Now I've had to upgrade to version three and where they've moved the barn, I've had to completely not do the series anymore. So I'm gonna do a series on here. So you can see I've gave it a fair chance and that I'm not just uh, saying it's a great map when it's not. But at the moment, I think this is the final version. This is version 1.003. Link to this will be in the description. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Um, a lot of flat ground is a plus, like I said. Very, very generous starting kit. I think we can all agree there's not many maps that give you three pod tracks, two top end case combines with all accessories that you ever need. Everything you need to get started, but the fields are quite large, even with. Let me just. I'm just going to jump in the pickup truck, just zoom over there. Over there as quick as we can. See where we're going first. I'm going the wrong way. Just want to head over to 22, 23, 24, 25, just to give you an idea of the size. And we are absolutely tanking it across this field. This is purchasable as well, this field. Um, there'll be a lot of work involved. So, 
Here's field 23, 22. But as you can see, they are a, a fair old sight. As what I'll do is, because I want to get a screenshot. So go there. I can't remember how you fly now. <laughs> what key is it? Is it? Go. No. There we go. So I'll just fly up. And that fields are quite adequate if you can afford them. I think they're about 200, and 200 grand per field. So the field in front that's got nothing drawn in, that's oats. Then you've got barley in the right hand field. Canola in service field, top right, cotton, top left out of these four fields. These are the fields I'd recommend you get first. Uh, my draw distance is a little bit weird. I don't know why. But that is it. That is my honest map review. Hopefully it's helpful to you. The store is over there in the distance. So got plenty of space. You can see it's... The only downside is I don't think the train works as of this moment, so that is a downside. Now, I will be honest, if you like maps that are full of details, full of tree-lined roads with traffic, um, terrain that slopes here and there, this slopes, but it's not completely, completely um, like the vanilla maps. It's complete opposite of that is more or less flat so if you're in the mood for a flat area with good size fields small medium extremely large fields this is the one for you if you're after the very pretty very in-depth detailed ones this isn't going to be for you if you want to use the train doesn't function I don't think but Tin Man has patched this three times in about a week and a half so the fella is very very active he's also bought another map out called Honeydew I will do a review on that on the next one and yeah I hope this has been interesting and helpful to you because I'd hate you to download the map that I have had to and find the bugs but these are the bugs I found apparently some people were getting uncontrollable stutters and some say it won't load, but everyone's setup is different. People use NVIDIA, new, old, and everywhere in between. Some use AMD. Some don't even use it and use on board. And everyone's going to run into trouble with that, as we all know. But plenty of room with this map. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave it there. All I can say is thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, please comment, like want to see more subscribe every little helps happy farming i've been hd carer and hopefully i'll see you in the next one and the series on this is coming soon everybody take care hdc out cheers